Uh, hi, this is my second notes to self video and this time I'm going to be reading something from Man for Himself, this book by Eric Fromm. And it starts on page 41, like the very bottom of 41, and continues on to 42. Okay. The most fundamental existentialist dichotomy is that between life and death. The fact that we have to die is unalterable for man. Man is aware of this fact, and this very awareness profoundly influences his life. I know it's short, but sometimes it just takes like two sentences to get something to stick into your mind. I think when I was uh, going to class that day, I wasn't thinking about death. I was kind of in the moment. I was in my day, you know, like, okay, what do I have to do for... This class and what do I have to study next you know I was in that mood and then we started talking about this and we really got into it and I started thinking about all those you know people who let death influence their life and I didn't realize there aren't people who let really really let people like let death influence their life but everyone is subconsciously aware that they're gonna die because some people think oh what's gonna happen when the world ends it's kind of like What's going to happen when I die? Because if the world ends, you're going to die. And the whole 2012 thing that I really don't want to get into. <laughs> anyway, so I think death does influence everyone's life. And I think that we also talked about in this class and in this book about how people make kind of like a heaven or like you've been told that by like religious texts or you've been taught that there is a heaven out there that you're going to go to or an afterlife you're going to have that kind of that that's going to like like you die in an afterlife boom <laughs> so like it's kind of you see it through all throughout history like with the ancient egyptians especially how they had the whole like jar thing and like putting your jar like putting your heart and like your kidney or some vital organs in a jar and then you would be wrapped up and you would like be tied so you would have all those things for your afterlife. So I think a lot of people believe that. I know in Christianity, there's a lot of people believe that there's a heaven. And in Hinduism, which I'm a Hindu, we believe that, you know, when you're praying, you're becoming one with God. And that when you die, you know, your soul is going to be with God. And I'm not really sure how that works. I'm still a little confused on that. But that's what I've been told. Or what I've read, not really actually been told that. But I do realize that death doesn't mean, like, yo, I'm going to die tomorrow, it's now or never type thing, or what's the point, I'm going to die tomorrow anyway. It's also, like, this death also kind of creates this kind of worrisome feeling that, oh, okay, we got to make things better, let's just, there's going to be an afterlife, okay, just calm down, you're not, you know, everything's going to be fine when you die. And that's what really intrigued me, because I never thought of it like that. It's kind of like a mom telling them, like telling her kid, don't worry, everything's going to get better. Like like a kid asks, mommy, I'm gonna, what happens if I'm going to die? And the mom's going, oh no, it's okay, there's an afterlife, you know, you'll be with God and this and that. I started really seeing it like that and I was like, whoa, I never really thought about it that way. Yeah, and I started to think about what where I stood with it all in this like 45 minute class. I was starting to think, well, where do I stand? Do I, am I one of those really extremist people who are just like, to now or never, I'm going to bungee jump off a bridge or skydive and float down perfectly onto the surface? Or am I one of those people who just goes like, what's the point? We're all going to die eventually. Why do this? Or if I'm someone like, like, you know, like religious people or spiritual people who believe that there is something beyond death that everything's gonna get quote-unquote better you know and I think I'm still not sure where I stand but I think it's an interesting idea to kind of think about because well not think about like all the time but it was just an interesting idea for me to think about because I've never really thought about it and now I'm that I'm getting older I'm starting to question what I really kind of what I believe in and what I've been you know told to believe in I'm sure I'm giving my mom a run for her money by bringing this up, but, you know, 
she tells me, I talk to my parents about this, like, I'm not really sure what I believe in, and they're like, that's fine, you know, but if you don't want to believe in heaven, that's fine, or if you do want to believe in heaven, that's fine, which kind of brings that whole religious thing <laughs> again, but I really don't want to get into that. Anyway, uh, I totally agree with um, Fromes saying that it profoundly influences man's life, that death profoundly influences everyone's life, because everyone is subconsciously aware that you know death is going to happen and that people death is it's there and we're scared of it because we don't really know what death is because we haven't had someone who's died and then come back and be like this is what death is I mean no one really knows for sure actually what death is and that's what scares people but it also makes people aware of what's going on and he's right and is an it's just unalterable. We can't change the fact that we're going to die. 